Hello everybody, my name is Elena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please excuse the way that I look because I just woke up. However, this is the video that I'm going to be posting on Valentine's Day. I know because I'm filming it before Valentine's Day. And it's quite possibly the worst thing I could probably post because I'm going to attempt to read God of Malice by Rena Kent. Have I read the previous series because this is a sequel series? No. Have I read anything by Rena Kent? No. Do I even like really dark romances in the genre that she writes? No. However, I will read it. Um, if for anything, out of spite. I just really want to know what it's about. Like my friend has read the first three, uh, also out of spite. So I just, I really want to, and I'm in that mood to hate read, which comes to me very rarely because I would rather read a book that I enjoy. But honestly, I just need something that I'm going to laugh at because it's so ridiculous. And that is it. I feel like this is it, you know? So if you've come to this video and you're like, oh my God, she's going to love it. I'm not. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to love the book. So if you really like it and you'll get hurt by things that I say, just save yourself the trouble and don't watch the video. Or if you can handle people saying shit about your favorite book, go ahead and stay. Maybe you'll laugh. I don't know. Just be careful, okay? Because I won't be very kind in this video. I haven't decided yet if I want this to have spoilers or not. I think I do. I think I'm going to do it with spoilers because I really want to just make fun of it. So I, I think we're going to do spoilers in this video. But that's what we're doing. However, I need to have breakfast and I don't feel like reading while eating breakfast. So I'm probably going to watch this like I do every morning. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm currently 42% into God of Malice. I have about four hours and 20 minutes left. And I have a lot to talk about. Firstly, um, I thought I was going to read it faster. However, I'm still reading it pretty quickly. Like, I'm not even tired from reading. And I think it's because Rena Kemp's writing is really readable. Like, the writing isn't anything, like, too complicated or whatever. But, like, I, I, I don't hate the writing. I actually think it's, like, entertaining. And while I understand why people would be enamored by Killian as a character, I am not. And the man gives me the creeps. However, okay, get ready. I'm about to compliment the book. It's really fun to read. I'm having a great time. Not with the character, like Killian. I actually kind of like, uh, I say I like her and then I forget her name. G Glyn Gil Glyndon G Gwyn Gwilden Gwyn I'm so sorry but <laughs> I don't remember her name the FMC I actually kind of like her and you know what I actually really like about the book apart from the fact that it's really entertaining like it's it's a peak Wattpad if you've read Wattpad when it was at its peak I don't think it's at its peak now 
I will just say that. But when it was at its peak, if you were reading stories back then, they you, it was like chapter after chapter after chapter. Like you were devouring the whole thing. That's this. And honestly, I'm happy about it. I'm not mad. Because I wanted to read trash and this is it. I'm devouring it. I will say another thing. I'm about to compliment the book again. I like the vibe that the book brings. Because the concept of there being like two rival universities right next to each other like an mostly american one and mostly british one and they're both ruled by like really dark um like twisted kind of like legacies i guess i don't know how to like put it into words but the fact like that kind of vibe is really enamoring and I like the whole vibe kind of of the story. It's like rich kids, like kids of like mafia gangs and like psychopaths, literally. Um, so I, it's like really entertaining to read. Like I can't lie and I won't lie. It's entertaining. However, I hate Killian. <laughs> like there is like no doubt about it. Like I don't think he would ever be redeemed. He has his nice moments. I will say that. I will give credit where credit is due. He has some nice moments, but, like, a lot of them are not, and I just can't get behind him. Um, however, I like all the other characters. I like them fine. I like, actually, you know who i die for? Annika and Brandon. I would die for them because they are, I feel like, the only true sweetest people in the series and like i said i also like the other characters too i'm actually really excited for the second book um because these are really easy to read i definitely will continue reading the series because sometimes i do want this kind of book i know shocking but i do um so i'm actually really excited for god of pain which i think is the second one because i realized that it's about annika and i forgot the guy's name it begins with a c Whatever, I just finished reading the scene with the, like, initiation thing, where basically the, like, they hunt them or whatever. That whole thing gave me the heebie-jeebies, by the way. I, I could never. Like, Gwendolyn, 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 the FMC in this book is stronger than me, because I could never. I would be moving out, I would be on a different continent right now if I was her. There, like there's no way I'm surviving this so kudos to her but yeah I just finished that I still haven't finished the chapter it's like right where she leaves because she sees this girl called Cherry or whatever um and she like goes up and kisses Killian which is like I rolled my eyes so hard when I read that yeah okay I think there was one line that I actually really liked from the book because like I said the writing isn't putting me off as much as I thought it would I feel like I went into this book expecting to hate everything about it and I don't like I don't hate everything I hate Killian most of all but all the other stuff is actually like fine well everything about Killian and anything connected to Killian like the whole like hunting people or this, this like oh her name Glendon hunting people initiation thing I just not for me not my vibe ah uh, yes it was uh i think it it's it's in chapter one it's page 15 yeah chapter one page 15 i liked this line um i think the glinden king they raised for 19 years perished with the devlin a few weeks ago and i can't face the fact that that they'll learn that soon that they'll look at me in the face and see an imposter i like the way that it was written and phrased because like i said i'm not about above giving credit where credit is due however i still hate mostly a lot of this book because a lot of it is centered around Killian. I'm having mixed feelings, as you can see. It's definitely not going to be an above three star rating. However, I am enjoying my time. Yes, I am. The things that Killian says, listen, I was probably reading Wattpad when I was too young to read Wattpad and I am not a stranger to spicy books or spicy scenes, spicy language, I don't get squeamish. The things that he says make me utterly terrified because I know for a fact that there are actual men out there in the real world that act like that and that fully exist. Also, Killian is a fucking psychopath and sociopath and he scares me so much. Like, like he scares everyone else in the book, but I, no, he's just not for me. 
I understand how other people would be enamored. I get it. I get the idea of it. However, that is not me. 42% in, I'm probably gonna finish today because honestly, even if I try to read something else, if I try to read The Count of Monte Cristo right now, no, I'm just gonna be thinking about this book because it's like drugs. It's addicting. Like it's bad for me, but I keep reading it. finished God of Malice. <laughs> okay, a lot has changed since the last time that I talked to you. First things first, the rating that I'm giving this book is 2.5 stars. <laughs> There's no way I was going to give it more than three stars anyways. Um, however, I thought it would be 2.75 stars and it ended up being 2.5 stars. Listen, a lot happened since the last time that I spoke to you. Because when I filmed that last clip when I was talking, um, I said that I still kind of like our FMC. The girl's girl in here, in my heart hurts because I don't really like her. Um, I don't know how Rena Kent managed to make every other character interesting and um, likable besides the two main characters that I'm supposed to root for. Don't know how she did that. I understand that Killian is a psychopath and a sociopath. However, I forgot what I wanted to say. I don't think I'm made for books where the uh, MMCs are like psychopaths and sociopaths and don't really have feelings. I don't think I can do that because I read a different book. Uh, it's one of the Neva Altaj books. Um, from like the s scarred series whatever um from the like the her mafia series one of those books one that i think people love a lot also has like a sociopathic man and i fucking hated that book so yeah i hate killian I can't stand him um but i'm also terrified of him so if i ever were to see him i would be running the other way i hate running <laughs> I would be faster than Usain Bolt running. I'm telling you right now, you would not catch me anywhere in his vicinity. He comes into a room, I'm out. In fact, I'm disappearing. Um, I really liked the parents. However, I would not read their books. But the cameos that they had, really interesting. We got some uh, chapters from their points of views right at the end as well, which was great. Um, the writing overall was fine. Um, I was really enjoying myself in the first half and then in the second half. The story kind of, I don't know, it didn't make sense the way that it was flowing, at least to me. And then I was getting kind of sick of it. Um, I feel like the book was a bit longer than it needed to be. And a lot of things were actually not, like, resolved. Although I feel like I'm asking too much. <laughs> like, I want them to have emotional depth. Like, no. Uh, but, see, I, the thing where, like... The person that was sending her the, like, unknown messages about, like, oh, it's your fault that, like, Devlin died or whatever. I thought there was going to be a scene. I felt like it was setting up for a scene where Killian would be like, who is sending you these texts? And that would be kind of the first moment where you see that, oh, he kind of cares about her. Didn't happen, really. I mean, it happened, like, at the end when she was, like, beat up, but, like... It's kind of too late at that point. I was expecting that kind of scene because I felt like that's what it was building up to and then it wasn't, so now I'm kind of disappointed. There was a really cringy line at one point and it was in the middle of a spice scene. I will say I hate the spice scenes because I hate everything that comes out of uh, Killian's mouth. Let me find it. I bookmarked it just so I can read it out to you because I read that and I had to put my Kindle down because, like, I, I hated it. I hated it every part of it okay i can't find it i'll try to look for it later but i came across another thing that i wanted to talk about glinden glinden i'm sorry i'm still trying to remember her name i cannot um glinden is talking about like he she's scrolling through his instagram right and seeing all of these like photos of him like being happy and being with his family and she's like wow he looks like a picture perfect guy the way she phrases it is it's a perfect facade for his rotten insides 
um, but it, it made me giggle. The one part I liked about this book was when she draws that painting that's like of a guy that's exactly opposite of the way Killian looks, like physical wise. Like he's blonde and has dimples or whatever. And she takes a photo of it, posts it on Instagram and captions it, my type. And all her friends are like commenting on it or whatever. Goes to turn off her phone, sees a text message from Killian and says, like, fuck he is. <laughs> I did laugh at that one. That one was good. However, it's the only good thing that he said, I'm pretty sure, in this book. So it's not a good track record. I cannot for the life of me find the line that made me cringe out to the gods and back. But um, I did remember it while I was looking for it. And I think they were having an argument and they were texting. Or they had an argument and she wasn't texting him back. So he was like texting her over and over again. And the last text was... Um, you just started a war and I've come to serve. Ew! I almost gagged when I read that because that, that instantly, if I didn't get the ick before, which I did, that would give me the ick. Also, I'm kind of finding it hard to believe that, like, 19 year olds are running, like, the city. Um, it also threw me off, I forgot to mention, that they were in Britain. Did not realize this was in the UK. Um, and then... Gwynlyn kept talking about like oh he has an American accent and I was like don't all of you have American accents apparently it's set in the UK so no they don't um did not know that and now I do I still like Bran a lot and Annika and um remember when I said I would die for those two yeah another one is joining the team because I would also die for Mia <laughs> I love Mia um like if you don't remember her she's the girl that signs um, and I kind of liked that Killian had a soft spot for her. However, <laughs> I don't like anything about him. So it, it's not like that helps his case or anything. But yeah, that that is um, my thoughts on the book. I actually gave it the same rating that my friend gave it, um, which is nice. Um, and I she's texting me as I'm filming this because she wants to hear my thoughts on it. So I will go tell her everything about it. Basically, what I just told you, I will tell her. That's all I have to say. This was my introduction to Rena Kent. I will say I get why she's so popular, and I also don't at the same time. And I don't know how those two coexist together, but they do. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.